Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little bit different haul for you guys. It's actually going to be a Bountiful Baskets haul. I've done one previously, but it was a little bit ago. It was a few months ago. And if you are new to Bountiful Baskets, it is a produce co-op. And so what you do is you basically pay for your basket, which is I believe $18. Now I think they just upped the price recently, but it's $18 now and you're basically pooling your money with everybody else and you're able to get like a bigger discount on your produce. And they also offer other offerings like, like separate little baskets that you can get, but you don't really know what you're getting. So the cool thing about Bountiful Baskets is you will get a discount on your produce. And the other nice thing is instead of going to the store and getting the same exact produce that you always get that you're really comfortable getting, it kind of like makes you broaden, broaden your horizons and just get things that you haven't gotten before. And so I know for me, like it's helped me get into other kind of veggies and other kind of fruits that I've never had before. So it's really fun that way. And I always feel like getting your main basket is always such a great deal. I feel like I always get more produce than I can get at the store. And the other like side baskets, well, I'll kind of like explain it a little bit later, but as I'm showing them to you, but I feel like sometimes they're a good deal. Sometimes I feel like I don't get such a good deal on them. So it's kind of hit or miss, but I definitely feel like the main conventional basket that you get for like $18 is always a good deal. And it always has tons and tons of produce and tons of like variety. So I love Bountiful Baskets and I'm definitely going to be getting back into doing it like maybe weekly or at least every other week. So let me know if you're interested in seeing like Bountiful Baskets haul from me like regularly, or if you just wanna see them randomly, like here and there, or if you would just like to maybe see them on my Instagram, just whatever, let me know because I think this is going to start being like a regular thing for us again. So let's go ahead and see what we got in our Bountiful Baskets this week. Okay, so this is everything that I got in our Bountiful Baskets this week. And I've kind of separated things out. So this is going to be the tropical pack. And then this big area right here is actually the regular conventional basket that I get for $18. And then this was the summer, the summer snack pack, I think they said. So I will go into the tropical pack and the summer snack pack. But first I'm going to go over just the regular basic basket that you will get if you get bountiful baskets. Okay, so starting with the conventional basket, First, we got a five pound bag of potatoes. These are grown in Idaho, so they're pretty close to us. And then we also got a head of cauliflower, three onions, which there's like a really big one, a medium sized one, and then a smaller one. We also got a pretty good sized cantaloupe and six apples. I'm guessing these are Fuji apples and I would say they're like medium sized. They're not the huge big ones, but they're not really small either. And then we also got, let's see, six bananas and a little container of raspberries. And then there was also some black kale. So this will be really delicious in some smoothies and also in just like some green juices. We also got two zucchinis and these are really big zucchinis. I don't know if you can tell, but they are like huge zucchinis. And then here we just got a mango and I think we just got one of those in this pack. And then there's a big pineapple. And then we also got seven Roma tomatoes. So that was everything that we got in the conventional pack and this was $18. So I feel like it was a pretty good deal because I don't think that I could get all of this for $18 at the store. But I've also seen baskets that I feel like have a little bit more than this. So it just kind of depends. You never really know what you're gonna get, but I feel like you pretty much always will get at least your money's worth with the main basket. Now the side baskets, I have to say, are always like hit or miss. I felt pretty impressed with them sometimes. But I feel like more often than not, I feel like I could have gotten a better deal at the store, like if I shop sales and things. And I was not really impressed with this one. And this one I felt like was pretty good. So let's go over to the summer snack pack. And in here I got, I believe this was $17 for this. So this is why I feel like I could have definitely gotten a better deal at the store. But I got, let's see, there's five bananas in here, a cantaloupe, and then four nectarines. There are five plums and two peaches. And then there's a little pack of grape, oh, <laughs> there's a little pack of grape tomatoes. And then there's also a little pack of baby carrots. So I feel like, especially because this is not all organic, like these, I could have gotten way cheaper at the store, like under a dollar probably. This could have been probably $2 or less. You know, I mean, that would have been under a dollar. That would be, I don't know, a couple bucks. And this would be maybe like a dollar fifty or $2 depending on like how heavy these are. I mean, they're pretty good size, but 
bananas are never expensive and these are like on sale right now for about two dollars so i feel like i definitely could have done a lot better at the store i was pretty disappointed with this one but i just i haven't done it in a while and i decided to go ahead and try an extra pack like a side pack but these are all optional so you only have to get this one when you get it and the other nice thing about bountiful baskets is you're not like locked in to get it all the time it's just sign up if you want don't sign up if you don't want it that week whatever so this pack i felt like was something that i didn't know if i would use everything in it but i wanted to go ahead and try and just kind of like branch out a little bit and be a little more adventurous so this is a tropical pack and it kind of gives you an idea of what you're going to get so these are plantains i have seen these in the store i've heard of people loving them i've never bought them myself because i don't really know what to do with them so I will be looking up recipes online. I will just try and figure out how to use these. And that will be something fun for my family to go ahead and try out. So we got three plantains. These, I honestly do not even know what they are. They don't even seem familiar to me, but there's something tropical. So I will probably try and figure out what they are. If you guys know what these are, let me know in the comments below because I have no idea. <laughs> um, these are obviously just kiwis. So we got four kiwis, two of whatever these ones are. We got one avocado and this is like pretty much ready to use. Then we also got two mangoes. These are really good sized mangoes. So my boys were asking for these all day. So they'll be excited when I'm done with this haul and they can go ahead and eat them. And then we got five limes. This will be good in like smoothies and water, juices, anything like that. We also got a pineapple and then a coconut and this is actually something again i have never actually purchased like a real coconut like i've gotten like the unsweetened coconut of course gotten sweetened coconut coconut milk coconut water but i've never had like the actual coconut so i feel like these were a little bit more expensive items at the store so i think that this is a decent deal although i'm not these aren't items that i normally get and so i'm not completely sure but you know like mangoes can be around a dollar limes can be kind of expensive sometimes you know, kiwis are kind of pricey. Avocados are definitely pricey. I think plantains are, a, I don't know exactly, but I know they're much more expensive than bananas. So maybe they're even like a dollar a pound. I don't know though. But, you know, coconuts I know are kind of pricey. Pineapples are about $3. And then whatever these things are, these are definitely like a specialty kind of fruit. So these kind of things are usually kind of pricey just because they are a specialty thing. So I'm excited that we got this. I'm not super excited that this is all that was in there. Sorry, my boys are playing in the back. I'm not super excited that this was all that was in the number pack, but I felt like our basket was a pretty good deal. So I think everything we got, it was like $50-ish, something like that. Sorry, and I think this was actually $17 as well. So I felt like everything we got, I'm pretty happy with. This was like my biggest disappointment, but with this stuff I was good with. <laughs> so I will actually leave a link for Bountiful Baskets down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. I do think they're really awesome, especially as I've said so many times throughout this video, the conventional basket that you get is really always like a pretty good deal. And the side packs are really interesting. Sometimes I feel like they're a good deal and sometimes I feel like I definitely could have gotten a better deal at the store, but it really just depends. So it's kind of a little bit, you know, hit or miss on those, but I do feel like the conventional baskets are amazing. So definitely check them out. So I believe what they do is on Mondays, you will go and buy your basket and order whatever kind of side packs you want and then decide like which location you'll pick up in. And then on Saturdays, I think sometimes it's Fridays, but most of the time it's Saturdays. So on Saturday, you will go and pick up all of your produce from the location that you decided on when you initially like placed your order and then you just pick it up. And it is also volunteer based. So if you go early and volunteer to help like sort out the truck and all the produce, you will usually get like an extra couple like fruits and veggies in your own basket for volunteering because it is vol all volunteer based. And we do that sometimes, but I think they don't actually allow like kids to go. So when I had kids and I started taking like Luke with me, I wasn't really able to help too much. And so I usually will only go if my husband's home and able to watch the boys or if I'm in Montana and my mom's able to watch them or something like that. But I do like to volunteer occasionally, but most of the time I ended up just going and picking up my stuff and just because I like and my husband usually works the weekend. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried Bountiful Baskets or if you've tried something like Bountiful Baskets or if they even have it in your area because I know they're kind of like trying to expand, but it's all volunteer based. So it's really like if somebody wants to open up a site near you or anything, but 
I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also follow me over on Instagram and I will see you in my next one. Bye.